Well, I recently purchased a $75 riding mower, and just like every story the guy tells you is, well, it ran two years ago when I parked it, and it ran fine, and I bought it, brought it home, charged up the battery, and it, it actually ran fine at first. It started, it, it revved up, everything was fine, and then I engaged the blades. I uh, pulled this lever here, it engaged the blades, and all of a sudden big plumes of white smoke came out of the exhaust like a steam steam engine huge plumes of white smoke came out the engine stopped and typically with a car when white smoke comes out that means coolant has gotten into your engine block now with a riding mower um, this is like most riding mowers this is just a Briggs and Stratton engine 16 and a half horsepower with a riding mower there is no coolant it's air cooled so the only liquid that could be getting into the engine is gas and the reason why gas got into the engine is because of the carburetor right here and it's because there's a needle in there that when you adjust this throttle when you adjust this up or down slow or fast the needle is regulating the amount of fuel that's going into the engine and when those big plumes of white smoke come out it's because that needles getting stuck so what had happened was gas was getting into the engine mixing with the oil and that's no good. So what I had to do was drain the oil, undo this drain plug, drain all the oil out, fill it back up. Then I put in fresh gas because I was using that, using that old gas that was sitting for years. I put on a filter, a new filter, where I can get all the particles off if there are any more in that gas tank. And then I added this shutoff valve and I just rigged up some wire twists on there and what that allows me to do is shut it off like right now it's not running I have it shut off so if gas does still trickle in right now I'm stopping it and making sure that I always leave it on the slower speed I don't leave it parked on full blast like that so always leave it down there then what I did was take apart the carburetor and clean it out so I took off this uh, plug down here this is the thing that makes sure it doesn't back, uh, fire when the engines off possibly uh, for safety reasons I un uh, pulled this bowl down unscrewed this off pulled this bowl down and the needle actually looked pretty good but I sprayed carb cleaner all through there if you have a, a real issue you could take this whole carburetor off and clean it mine looked pretty good so I just sprayed carb cleaner all through there like I said I put this filter and this shut off on there the key is you don't want that needle to get stuck in there. That's where all the gas gets mixed in. I filled it up, filled it back up with oil, started it up, and it's run great ever since. So that was the issue: was you have old gas, you have old gas in the gas tank, you have old gas with uh, particles or something in there getting in there and stopping either that float or that needle from se seating in the carburetor and stopping gas from flowing in. Just tons of gas was flowing in and getting into the engine, and it was actually gurgling I took off this air filter and gas and oil were gurgling out of that coming out of the engine and then white smoke was billowing out so all I used was some spray carb cleaner I just sprayed it up into the carburetor I sprayed a little bit down through the air filter just to get all that gummy uh, gas out of there um, like I said if you had a, a more serious issue or if you had more time you could take the whole carburetor off and soak it in some carb cleaner uh, liquid not just the spray you don't have to use this this is eight bucks you can use the cheap stuff soak all those parts in there but like I said mine didn't look that bad so just spraying it in there letting it soak for a few hours putting it all back together and it's worked just fine so that's always the issue when you buy an old mower either it's a push mower or a riding mower and it's been sitting for years that old gas and you get those that green powder in there and it clogs stuff up so it's good to change it out, but like I said, I had to change the oil, and the oil came out. When I drained the oil, it was off. You could tell there was gas in it. It was just black, dirty oil, so I filled it up, and it's run well ever since. So hopefully this fixes any issue you have. If you ever see big plumes of white smoke, it's an issue with your carburetor and gas getting into the engine. Drain the oil, fix the problem, and you should be good as new. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, 
home repair, 3D printing, and on this side you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.